Hey, what's going on guys? So I guess this is the second video of the Angular series, and in this video, I may or may not have said that we're going to do controllers, however, I'm kind of changing that up. Uh, so basically, controllers are pretty advanced concepts, and I feel like it would be a lot better to be familiar with Angular and just how some things work. So we're going to do something a little bit easier, but still equally um, as cool and interesting. So it's going to be ng-directives. Something actually that we already worked with. Uh, here in ng model, when this is this is from the first video, this right hand side, um, this is basically an Angular statement within the HTML, and it was directing something. So hence, you know, Angular directive. Basically, in this case, we were directing um, input variable to be stored by whatever the input is um, in this tag. So you know, there's so many cool things that you can do with uh, directives. Um, you know, you can see what directives are available by going to the home page, develop, API reference, and then on the left side you have all these directives. So, for example, um, you have ng-if, so you can decide to show something if an expression is true. And you can, you can read about this here, so basically it's going to take an expression. And then if the expression is falsy, da 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 da, -da you, can, you can read about that. Most of these directives are going to take expressions. However, what they do with them is going to be completely different. So in this case, it's basically going to evaluate for it to be true or false. Um, in another case, you might be setting a value, um, which is what we will be doing in this video. So that gets me to the example in this video, which is going to be um, something with ng init, ng if, and ng, let's use ng mouse over. Yeah, let's find. Let's use ng mouse over. Um, and so basically, what we're gonna do is every time someone uh, has their mouse over a button, then text will disappear. I think that sounds like a pretty simple, reasonable example, and you know, hopefully, you guys uh, understand a little bit more about directives after that. So, um, yeah. And if I'm going a little bit too fast in this video, it's probably because I want to catch the. Uh, the ending of this Wisconsin Duke game. Not a not a fan of either, but I want Wisconsin to win. All right, all right, all right. Um, so this is set up uh, same way as from the last video. We declared it as an Angular app, and I loaded um, the Angular resource from CDN here. So and I you know you can tell if that's, if that's working or not by just doing something like in Angular brackets two plus two. But I'm not going to do that now because I know this works. So okay, so like I said, we're going to have a button. Uh, and basically, you know, cool button or something like that, I don't care. Um, and we're going to have lame text. So basically what we want happening is every time this button is moused over, then this lame text disappears. So we need um, an if statement, almost like an if statement for this lame text and you know that's going to be with the ng if that I showed you guys so ng if is going to take an expression just like uh, ng model took an expression in the past video ng if is going to take an expression and accept this one that's saying say okay so if this is true then I'm going to show this lame text if this is false I'm not going to show this lame text so I can show you right here if I say false then the lame text will not show up um, let me go ahead and open in browser there we go, we don't have the text at all, but we do have the button. So I want to say ng if, you know, something about the button being moused over. Um, so how can I do that? I hmm, didn't really think too much about that part, but uh, okay, so first of all, let's initialize a value. So ng init, and then this isn't going to take a true or false. In this case, it's going to say, okay, initialize a value when something started. So when the body is first created, initialize a value. So I'm going to say ng initialize um, ng initialize it check to true. You can do that. You can say you can say um, ng init you know number is equal to two or whatever. Um, and then in the button, I'm going to say uh, ng mouse over and then so in this case 
we're not initializing something, we're giving an expression to evaluate. And you can even read about this in the documentation. So ng mouse silver is right here. And then so it's gonna take an expression and it's gonna evaluate it upon mouse over. And then you can, you know, see this example. It's pretty cool. Okay, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what was I doing? Right. So then check is going to equal the opposite of check. So this is kind of gonna work. This isn't mm, I wanna I wanna do one more actually. So I'm gonna do one more directive. So every time we mouse over the button, check is equal to false. Every time we leave the button, we have to make sure that check is equal to true so that we can show the text again. And then this is just gonna say, okay, so if check is equal to true, which it will be whenever we're not hovering over the button, then it's gonna show lame text. If we're hovering over the button, mouse over, check it should be false. Now I didn't test this, I just kinda of came up with this last second. So let's hope this works. Um let me reload that. Alright, so if I hover over Oh yes. That works. Okay. So every time we hover over the button, um you can see that we're calling ng mouse over check is equal to false and then this ng if evaluates to false and it's not going to show lame text. So hopefully, you know, we use these four directives here and you guys kind of get got a sense of, you know, actually we used five if you count ng app cuz that is a directive too. Um, just think of a directive as directing something within the HTML. You know, um, this is pretty bad practice right here. You don't want to be setting variables within um, the DOM or you know, within your HTML. You want to be doing that within JavaScript, and that's actually what we're going to be working on in the next video. And in controllers, this this is the kind of stuff that you want to do in controllers. Um, so while directives are cool and all, and we're going to be using them pretty much everywhere. Um, you know, you you should really know about them, but controllers are where you want to store variables and stuff like that. And we'll work with that next video. So that's going to be a pretty interesting video. Again, you know, Angular homepage has a ton of resources. I highly recommend. You know, you go there, play around, make a cool app or whatever. And yeah, uh, go Badgers! I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.